welcome back to my kitchen. Y'all, Thanksgiving is next week. Are you guys ready? I have done so many cakes lately, the velvet cakes. I said, let me do something that's really quick and easy for those that are wanting something really quick and easy for, um, y'all, I'm looking for my spatula. I mean, my whisk for Thanksgiving, okay? So, I'm like, all things sweet potatoes right now. Listen, that's just the mode I'm in. I'll find it in a second. But in any event, we're gonna do this sweet potato honey bun cake today. It's really easy. I'm not even going to use a mixer, not even a hand mixer today. I'm gonna mix this up by hand. Feel free to use your regular stand mixer, your hand mixer, whatever you want to use. But you guys, it's really that simple. Um, Y'all know I'm used to whipping up icing, I mean a glaze anyway. So I'm not getting rid of, I'm not getting rid of fool with the mixer today. So anyway, this is what we're going to need. I'm going to be using a box of the Duncan Hines Butter Golden Cake Mix. All right? To that, I'll be adding eight ounces or one cup of sour cream. I have four large eggs here that are room temperature. Y'all, the sour cream is room temperature too, okay? Four large eggs that I've already cracked, they are room temperature. I have three fourth cups of vegetable oil here. And uh, I have the uh, I use like two medium sweet potatoes. You guys, I roasted my potatoes, okay? Put them in the oven on 400 for about an hour. So that dark area is where they were roasted. I love to roast my sweet potatoes, okay? So you need about a cup. And we're just gonna mash these up. And as you can see, I'll mash a little bit more, but you see those two little medium potatoes have given me about about a cup, okay? So, roast your potatoes. They're less watery. Brings out more of the sweetness in the potatoes. Okie dokie. Let's see, what else do we need? Uh, I'm adding about a tablespoon or more. Just depends on how I feel. A pure vanilla extract. And the spices that I want to use, I'm going to use cinnamon and nutmeg, but I used about a tablespoon of cinnamon, and then I used one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, and I put that in, this is one and a fourth cup of brown sugar. So I have one and a fourth cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and then one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Y'all know I love nutmeg. My favorite spice because it reminds me of my mama, okay? Let's see. Um, I'm also going to add, I see how some people add a little bit of orange food coloring. That way it'll give. So the honey bun, the sweet potato honey bun cake won't look so pale. You know, because y'all know you eat with your eyes first. So when you see that kind of orangey color, it's gonna immediately make you think sweet potatoes. So this is definitely optional. You don't have to do it, but I think I may do that because I, I want it to look different than the, the regular honey bun cake that I've done, okay? All right, I have my nine by 13 casserole dish that I have sprayed with some Baker's Joy. My oven is preheated, Pre it is preheated, not preheating, but it's already ready. 350 degrees, I think we're gonna, we're gonna bake this for about 45 minutes or so and then we're going to do a simple glaze that goes on the top where I'll use my powdered sugar, a little bit of vanilla extract and I'm going to use some of my coffee creamer to make a quick little glaze. Okie dokie. Now you can also add pecans if you want to to this brown sugar, cinnamon and nutmeg mixture. I did pecans I think in the last what did I do, like the sweet potato brownies or whatever they were called? I'm not going to do pecans. Um, I'm just going to do this so it will be kind of closer to the sweet potato pie, if you will. Kind of remind me more of the sweet potato pie taste 
Hopefully, at least that's what I'm thinking. So I'm not going to add um, any pecans, but you can definitely add pecans. You can add walnuts, whatever nuts you like. If you want some nuts, add it in this brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg spice. And you guys, have fun with your spices. If you don't want nutmeg, if you want pumpkin spice, honey, use some pumpkin spice. It's your dessert. That's why I'm using nutmeg, because it's my dessert, okay? So if you want you some pumpkin spice, or if you want you some allspice, or you don't want no spice, you just want to just do some cinnamon, whatever you want to flavor it with, you guys, is up to you, okay? Again, I'm getting ready to mix this by hand. Y'all, it's not going to take long at all, but please, like I said, feel free if you want to use your mixer. Of course, I have thoroughly washed my hands. Y'all, don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. So hopefully you guys will find this easy and will consider maybe doing this for Thanksgiving. All right, we're going to start with our cake mix. Something that's really quick and easy. Mix that up. Get all the lumps out of there. Are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? Ready or not, it's a uh, it's about to be here. Okay, this is eight ounces of sour cream. looking for it wasn't in here we'll just use this eight ounces of sour cream what I like about this too is like it reminds me of that um like the dump cakes where you just kind of dump and go Right to that, we're going to do our four large eggs. And I'm not even going to stop the camera, you guys, because it's really not going to take long to get this mixed up. All right. This is going to be real time. That was the four large eggs. We have our three-fourth cups of vegetable oil. Even when I'm doing a box cake mix, I don't, I don't be, try, I don't try to get it uh, silky smooth either. Okay, so it's not like I'm trying to get all of these lumps out. Okay, let's see. We're gonna do at least about a tablespoon, at least a tablespoon. Of, okay. Yeah, that's that's mixed up. Just that. We have our. Sweet potatoes that we've already kind of smushed, so we won't. Let me tell y'all what I no. Let me see. Let me tell y'all what I do want to do. I want to sprinkle just a little bit of nutmeg in my sweet potatoes. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit, y'all. I just, I just want to. Okay. Yeah, that was a little bit. That was my little bit. It really was a little bit, you guys. Okay. So, my husband's old loud telephone. Okay. Y'all ignore the, ignore the sound of the telephone, please. He must not be near his phone. Okay. 
So now we're just going to these sweet potatoes. Why am I using this? And just mix it right in with the batter. And you know what, y'all? Yeah, I'm not even going to try to mix that all the way in good. You know what I mean? I think I want it to kind of have that swirl a little bit. Let's see, we add a little bit of the orange. Just a little bit. At least that's what I say. Yeah, I like it. I like the little streakiness about it. You know what I mean? Where it kind of still shows some of the batter. Okay? That's all the mixing I want to do. Alright, so now we're going to pour just a little bit in here. Enough to kind of... Cover the bottom of the casserole dish. Because I want to make sure that when I add my layer of brown sugar, that it is totally covered. Okay? When I add my layer of brown sugar and then add the rest of the, the cake mix. And sweet potatoes. That's what I'm trying to say. I want to make sure that it is totally, the top of it is totally covered. Does that make sense, y'all? I hope so. If it doesn't, it's all right. It is all right. Okie artichoke. So this has been mixed up very well. So we're going to take it and just sprinkle it as even as we can. Oh, it smells good. Uh, over the top. And by all means, I said I had used one and a fourth cup. You can use just a cup of sugar. Y'all know we like it sweet over here, so so listen. This this my cake, okay? You do not have to use that much sugar. All right. In with the rest of uh, let's see. So wait a minute. Before I go in with that, I want to swirl just a little bit because I really don't want to have to do a whole, whole lot of swirling when I do the top layer. I just wanted to go in and get that mixed in at least a little bit already with the uh, that first layer that was down there. your orange if you choose to do so if you want to go in and mix it all in of course that's fine but like I said I like I wanted to see that kind of that two-tone look okay so 
So now I'm a tr I'm trying to spread it so I can get it all around the edge covered. All right. I really don't want any of the brown sugar showing around the edge. Why, Miss Dawn? I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. Because I want it to look pretty. So, let me make sure I get all that covered up. So now I want to make sure that this top layer is pretty even. At least as even as I can kind of get it. You know what I mean, jelly bean? swirl action going on. Little swirl action. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. So now we're going in the oven. 350 degrees. 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. But I'll let you know exactly how long it takes once I take it out. Okay, we baked about not quite 45 minutes. Not quite. So we're going to sit here and cool. And while we are cooling, I'm going to make a glaze really quick. Just a little glaze to go over the top. I never use a mixer when I do my glazes either. I'm gonna do maybe look what's 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 in this bag. How about that? That's not quite two cups, okay? Don't usually measure. Not quite two cups. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Watkins vanilla. And I'll be using my I love to use my coffee creamers when I do my glazes. If I have something on hand that I think will work. So we're going to do this French vanilla. You guys, you want to add a little bit at a time. I usually start with maybe about a couple of tablespoons. And I like for my glaze to be thick initially because if it's really thick, I like a thick glaze anyway, but I like it extra thick in the beginning where it's not really pourable because that way that helps me get it smooth okay again add just a little bit of liquid at a time because once you get the liquid in you can't take it out and then you'll have to add more powdered sugar to compensate for the looseness of the glaze now like this this is this is not enough okay i need a little bit more but again i you know add just a little bit because once i get it in i can't take it out all right pour the glaze on right now because the cake is so hot if I pour it on it's gonna melt off and just kind of disappear you know what I mean jelly bean but you know what I just thought about something I think I do want to do 
Mm, okay. See how creamy that is? It doesn't take long at all. Again, it's still a little too thick to pour. So I'll add just a little bit more to get it to my desired consistency. I'm gonna put that over there and put that back in the refrigerator. Okay. So that's better. Okay, that's more pourable. See how smooth and creamy that is? I didn't need to pull out a mixer for that. Didn't have something else, some more dishes to be washing. Okay. But what I was getting ready to say is. With the cake, you guys, I think I maybe wanna. I think I wanna poke a few little holes in it. How about I do this? I was gonna grab the bot the bottom of a wooden spoon, but I don't want them that big. I'm gonna use my little fork here and just poke some holes in it, and then hopefully, maybe some of that glaze will run down in there. Like I said, I didn't want them to be. So we're going to let this keep cooling. It probably, it won't be totally cool when I pour the glaze on it, but it won't be piping hot like it is now. Okay. Sweet potato something. It is. It is. I eat everything sweet potato. All sweet potato all the I time. Know. I love That's sweet potato. Mm. We don't be trying to fool with the little, which is called the laid off. Uh, the laid off sweet potato. Trying to get up under that piece. That's um. That's pumpkin. Pumpkin is a laid off sweet potato. Let me try. What? Let me try. Wait a minute. Looked like a crunch, a, a crunch at the bottom. It looked like something. No, crunchy. it's not a crunch. It's just where I was you're talking about right there, where I was trying to get it out. Oh no! It just looked like it's it's at the bottom, some crunchy everything. I'm ready to do this? I mean, you could stop me. You could go. You could have took my eye. Out. I still see what I'm after. Pumpkin. That is sweet potato. That's sweet potato, baby. That's sweet potato, baby. Touch it. And the roast is sweet potato. That's good, y'all. I'm trying to fool me now. Don't make me look bad. I'm trying to fool you. Don't make me look bad in front of everybody. Don't make you look bad in front of everybody. You made your own self look bad. Not knowing what you was talking about. I know what I'm talking about most of the time, but sometimes I miss it. Mm. What you doing, man? The happy dance, that means it's good. <laughs> you know, that's good. Look at that. Don't even make it dance. Dancing, dancing, dancing. I, I can't stop myself. Isn't it you? I can't stop myself. No. You can't stop yourself. 
Okay. Stop long enough so we can do the thumbnail. I can't with him. Y'all, that's good, y'all. Mm. Let me tell you one thing or two. What is it called? Oh, I'm sorry. It's sweet potato honey bun. Okay. That's what it is. That honey bun I'm tasting. What you mean? What you mean that honey bun? You I taste, taste that honey bun tail. What's the honey bun part made out of, babe? Honey bun? Okay. What made out of? Honey bun. Honey bun. What you said? Y'all look at that. That's good. It's so moist. It really is. It's moist. Mm. You gonna be taking this one to work? Well, why not you wrong? You didn't do nothing wrong this time. Oh, speaking of which, and the last time I was talking, when I said back. you didn't take that blue velvet to work you go, because taste you this. was uh, showing out. And then I'm this. in and I see you making all them faces and Ooh. talking junk in the video while I'm in. Like, I should have known. Who was it? You was talking junk. Taste this. I don't want it. Please. No. Can I ask and you? I decided not to put pecans in here. Y'all, like I said, you can put your nuts and stuff in it. But okay, but I had put nuts in the last, in the, um, what is it? The sweet potato brown, is it whatever? You I sure did. you don't want some I'm sauce? positive. If I do, I, I had a whole thing over here. I, I can get some of if I what, want some. What, what, what I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. No, no, you never, ever, ever discipline a child unless you have told the child You're what it is. You're not getting disciplined. Baby, you don't have to have every dessert to take with you. It ain't like I don't have to. I, I don't in want every dessert. Listen, no. listen. I'm we'll talk about this later. Don't make me that baby. Do people, do people, don't ask her what I do wrong. <laughs> you didn't do nothing wrong. I had to do something wrong. We're just going to share with somebody else. Who we going to share with? Don't know. Anyway, who we gonna share if with, you don't enjoyed the video, don't know who we going to share with. Please give it a thumbs up. You guys, that's something easy to them, do. Them nosy people out there that don't told all my business. Now you ain't getting nosy people. I told you they was buying for my job. I told you what they wanted to do. If you made me lose my train. If you don't, if y'all don't, no, hit the nosy. <laughs> Oh, you mad now? Yeah, don't let y'all know it's one of them people. I guarantee it's one of them same ones that went behind my back and stabbed me. And now them same ones you probably trying to get a pie to. Or the cake to. I know it is, Donna. I know it is. The same one. Which one is it? The same one that did all of the talking. That very same one. There be a lot of them doing the talking. They be telling me everything you be doing. There's a lot of them, too. What, you gonna cut everybody a slice? Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. If you've not subscribed, oh, you actually hit, hit the nosy. You hit the nosy. You hit the nosy. Why are you acting like that? You don't because they took my job. I told you they were going to do it. I knew they were going to do it. I'll take your job, baby. You sampled the, the dessert. No, don't. They took the cake. Thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. All right, you stab yourself in the mouth, I'm going to laugh. Bye. 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 No, I'm just, no, I'm telling you, I know they stabbed me in the mouth. That's not nice, babe. They went much more than they did. They didn't do anything. Well, they Say bye right. Bye right. <laughs> okay, bye. I cannot with him. Oh, you.